The magnitude of Kc. Well, there's the classic equation to make ammonia, called the Haber process. And the Kc for this is pretty straightforward. And if there's a coefficient of 1, then you can ignore that in the equilibrium expression, because anything raised to the power of 1 is unchanged. And let's say that Kc is 1 over 1,000. So what does that mean? That means that there's loads and loads of the reactants, and not much of the products. And that's probably not that good. After all, I want to produce products. Now, the guy that worked this out is Fritz Haber. He worked out a way to improve Kc for this reaction. Now, who cares? Well, it is slightly mentioned in the IB, and more later on that. So let's say Kc is now 1,000 over 1. Well, products are very heavily favoured here. And we say the position of the equilibrium is towards the right, or towards the products. That's the IB terminology. So hold on, if there's lots of ammonia, and only a little of the reactants, surely it's not in equilibrium anymore. Surely the forward reaction is faster than the reverse reaction. No, 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 no. It's equilibrium. By definition, the forward and reverse reactions are equal. Their rates are equal. The same reaction rate at equilibrium. Otherwise, you're not at equilibrium. You're somewhere else. So how can the value of Kc be very, very big or very, very small, and yet the reaction rates forward and backwards are the same? Dr. Atkinson is representing the very few reactants we have, and, at, and up over this energy hill are the products represented by this lady here. Now notice there are a lot more products than reactants. And it's actually, well, let me get a better view on that, it's actually endothermic too. Kc for this reaction is big, therefore the products are favoured. So how can the rate of the forward reaction and the reverse reaction be the same? Well, it's simply for every reactant that turns to product, in turn one product will turn to reactants. And so the concentration overall of the reactants and the concentration of the products in equilibrium is unchanged. Clever, eh? And so we say that if Kc is smaller than smaller than 1, then the reactants are favoured, and if it's bigger than bigger than 1, the products are favoured. And you just have to use your common sense about what 1, bigger and smaller than 1, means. So the only thing that changes Kc is temperature. Now hold on, hold on, what about the coefficients? If I mess around with the coefficients for that reaction, then that's going to change Kc. And you just said only temperature changes Kc. Well, you know what? We're only concerned with the first equation. You just changed to a different equation. That's why Kc changed. So assuming the coefficients remain unchanged, the only thing that changes Kc is temperature. So what about these? Big or small Kc? Writing out the equilibrium constant. I can tell you that that is an enormous value for Kc. Why is that? Well, positive and negative ions attract each other, electrostatic attraction. And so they're much more likely to be attracted to each other than be formed from a water molecule spontaneously dividing. And for the second one, Kc is very, very small. The hydrogen bond is quite strong, and the chance of it just spontaneously breaking is extremely small. Let's go back to Fritz Haber, the guy that worked out the Haber process. Plants need nitrogen, but they can't get the nitrogen from the air because it has a triple bond, and that needs a lot of energy to break. But Fritz Haber worked out how to make cheap ammonia, and that ammonia is easy to turn into ammonium nitrate. And notice there's no triple bonds there, just single and one and a third bonds. Much easier to break, requiring less energy. So our hero, Dr. Atkinson, is climbing up a huge pile of bird poo, or guano, a resource that was so valuable that people fought wars over it. And indeed, in World War I, the Germans used guano from Chile to provide nitrogen to their plants. Now, ammonia can be used to clean toilets, but the genius of Fritz Haber was that he took nitrogen from the air and hydrogen from other sources, combined them to make ammonia. Did he clean toilets with it? I don't know but you can then react ammonia with nitric acid and make ammonium nitrate, which has two very different uses. The first use is a fertilizer. 
half of the nitrogen atoms in your body come from the harbour process. The second use is an explosive. And World War I was extended, some have argued, by a year because of the Germans' new access to ammonium nitrate, fertiliser and explosive.